In this video, I want to talk about layers in AutoCAD. What are they, how you can create them, and with some drips and tricks. All right, so I have a floor plan here already. Uh, I'm using AutoCAD for Mac. I'm using the 2023 version. Uh, if you are using Windows, you should be able, like the command names are mostly the same. Uh, the interface does not match at all, um, but all the concepts will mostly apply, so you should still be able to follow along, okay? Um, now, this video assumes you already know how to draw a floor plan in AutoCAD. Um, if you don't know and you want to see a video where I show you how I created this exact floor plan step-by-step, step, I'll put the link on the top where you can follow it. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into this. Okay, so right here i have i've already drew all of this you can see this is mostly a done floor plan uh, for residence it's a two bed one bath um and um and the layers in autocad like let's say you just started this video is for people who just started learning autocad or people who are like going the next level so you definitely heard about layers somewhere you've seen it in the settings and maybe you're not sure what it is or how you can really use it uh, so we'll talk about this. So to access it first, um, for me on, on my version, you can see it on the right side here. I have the layers list. If you don't see it, you can actually go on the top. You go to format, you hit the layers, and that will make it appear. In my case, it disappeared. But you can also do command four on the keyboard, and that will make it uh, open again. Um, now, I already have the list of the layers, uh, and before I jump to talk about like how to create the layers, I want to talk about the benefits, uh, because that's the easy part, but the benefits is really what matters about uh, layers. So, the first benefit, like, what can you do with layers? So, here everything is drawn in black and white, and it might be a little bit hard to distinguish some of the elements. You can't, like, quickly and easily like see the different elements here. So the first benefit is if you use different colors for the layers, you will be able to quickly see like what are the different elements you have in place. Uh, I already layered this, uh, this floor plan here, so to make it just easier, but that was just for illustration purposes. And as you can see here, you immediately realize what is an annotation element and what is actually part of the floor plan. So you will see that the the dimensions and the text are using the yellow color. And then I use the green here if it's not visible for the walls. I've used red for the doors and yellow for windows and then different colors for the different objects. Um, so, so that's the first thing really is that it really makes it easy for you to quickly and easily like filter through and see what's going on and what do you have and maybe what are you missing like maybe if you don't see orange you're gonna be like oh my god i forgot the bathroom stuff or the fixtures so i like to work with colors it makes it really easy to work with it and also when i send this to an engineer or another consultant they'll be able to easily look at my drawings and work with them so that's benefit number one is organizing um, benefit number two i want to talk about is the line weight so line weight is basically how thick the lines are when you print the document now in autocad here you don't really see the uh, the line weight but when you print i'm gonna go now to a paper space or a sheet um i think there's another name for this paper view or sheet view um but anyway uh we are here so this i've already i already have a title block here you can see about this in the other video i mentioned and I also have a viewport here. Um, you can watch how to set these up in the other video. But anyway, the viewport is set. I already had the two floor plans. I have the one with the black and white on the left side, and I have the layered, colored, beautiful one right here, right on the right side. So, so let's look at this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the print window or the plot window. It's the same thing. You can access it by typing print or plot. And then here I'm going to do preview so we can kind of look at this in like how it would look like on a PDF. So let's click preview. It opens on my PDF reader, Acrobat here, Adobe Acrobat. And I'm going to use the zoom here. So the left version is the one that's all like not layered or not colored. Okay. So I'm going to look at this. Um, and you can see here the line weight of all the objects is mostly, not mostly, they are actually identical. Um, so 
the dimensions are as thick as the regular lines as the furniture and even the frame around the text right here is also like thick uh, now for me personally this personal preference and i've heard it from everyone that i've worked with like it's always nicer to make the dimensions and the text element to be thinner and you usually have the walls to be the thickest elements uh, like their line is very thick uh, and then the furniture and other elements in the drawing, like the fixtures and the equipment, they're usually like a little bit, a little bit thinner than the walls, but they are thicker than the notation elements, the text and the dimensions. It just makes it easier to read the documents because at the end of the day, when you print a document and you are going to show it to a client, you're going to show it to a city official, or you're going to show it to another consultant that's working with you on the project. They're going to look at the PDF first before the AutoCAD and the owner will never or the client will never look at the AutoCAD almost. So you want to share like clean and easy to see drawings and I'll show you the difference right now. So this is the left version. OK, we're going to look at the one to the right, um, the one without the uh, with, with the uh, I'm sorry, with the layering and with the line weight. And you can see here, OK, it looks like I took out the furniture in this version. But anyway, we'll get back to that. You can see here the dimension lines are very, very, very thin. And the same with the text element. It makes it easier to distinguish the elements. OK. So that's basically benefit number two uh, for the layers. Now let's go back to AutoCAD and let's cancel. OK, and let's go back to the model. Oops, I'll move this. OK, um, so that's benefit number two. Uh, the benefit number three that I want to talk about, let's actually stay within the paper space. Benefit number three is the ability to, uh, to. Uh, I wanted to talk about a different one first, but I guess I'll talk about this, uh, about the printing uh, setting. So look here. So if you noticed earlier on the PDF, even though we have the furniture visible here, we didn't see it on the paper when we printed the PDF or when we did the preview. So the reason for that is that there is a setting in layers where you can tell a layer to not print or not to plot. So if you look here on the right side to the layers, um, I'm going to click this to pop it open. Maybe I showed this earlier or not. If not, you can make the window floating by clicking this button and you click this back to make it uh, docked back in, but I want it outside. Um, so let's look at the furniture layer. So there is a setting here where it doesn't print. Now I'm not seeing it. I probably disabled it. So I'm going to disable, uh, uh, enable it right now. And then right here where it says furniture layer, a fern. So here, right under the plot, I have this setting on. So I'm going to turn this off. So now when we do a printing, let's start this again. Now let's go to plot or print. By the way, you can type preview and that will literally take you immediately to the previewing part. And now you can see the furniture is back again. In this, ver fer uh, in this version of the drawing, uh, the furniture was not visible. Now it's again visible. So this is another benefit of the layer, uh, benefit number three in this case, is that you're able to control like which elements you want to print at the end of the day. So let's say if I wanted to show this to the client and I didn't want to show them any furniture, I just wanted to focus on like the layout in general. So that would be like one way to do it. Another way to do uh, another way to do the exact same thing, uh, but different. So let's say um, instead of like hiding the printing, um, where is it? So instead of doing that, you can you can actually turn off or on the layer. So in this case, I chose the visibility to be up. I clicked on it. Now it's not selected. And as you can see, the furniture elements disappeared. Now this might be a little bit difficult to look at. Let's look at it from the model. So here we go. So here the furniture elements are invisible. So you took that out. When they're invisible, they're not going to be printed, OK? Because they're going to disappear not only from the paper, they're going to also disappear from the model and from all the different views. So that's another way to do it. Um, and then there's another command. So I'm going to turn this on. There's also freezing. Uh, so freezing is very similar to the on and off uh, feature, uh, but it does the same. There's a difference, but I'm not going to cover it in this video. Uh, but they work kind of the same for most of you out there. 
So I'm going to freeze this layer right now. And the same, this disappeared. It's not going to print. It's going to disappear uh, from everywhere. Okay. And the next benefit I want to talk about. So we talked about the um, the organization. We talked about line weights. We talked about uh, the ability to print or not print or plot um, an entire layer. And then we talked about the on and off or freezing, which works similar but different. Uh, similar but different. And then the next one I want to talk about is also the um, the line type. Now it doesn't look like I've used I've used any of them in this drawing. I'm gonna look at it from here, from the paper view. Okay, this is really difficult to look at. So I'm gonna go to the options, and we're just gonna switch the background to be the paper space. We're gonna make it. Uh, let's go with. Paper space background, let's do black. So that's the wrong one. So let's do black. Oh, that's the background. So this one can stay gray. And then we're going to hit OK. And boom, now this is matching. This is what you should have your setting on, actually. This makes it much easier. So anyway, so here, let's say I want, um, let's say I want to show the furniture as dashed elements. Um, now this might not work perfectly because of how I set up the blocks, but let's try it anyway. It's worth trying. So let's say I want to switch it to dash elements. Okay. So here I'm going to switch it to hidden. So here you go. So this setting allows you to change the line type. Um, this is good if you're trying to show stuff that are above, like on the reflected ceiling plan, um, or you just don't want to highlight these like heavily. So this is like, Another benefit of the uh, of the of the layers, the ability to switch the line type. But for now, I'm gonna keep using the continuous. Okay. Um, and the last thing I want to mention, just in case any of these columns are not visible, you want to right click on here, and then you'll be able to see all the all the ones that I'm seeing right here. Okay. Um, now you can actually. Uh, there's more to cover. I wanted to cover how to create the layers, but maybe in a different video, I'll put this somewhere on the top. Thank you for watching. If this helped, hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, and if you'd like to get access to this exact file, I'll be posting it on our Patreon page. Thank you.